If you have a passion and you are really good at doing what you do, and people know about that, and it actually is possible to make money, then why is it we're not making 10 times more than we are right now? So who knows people in their industry that make considerably more than them, than yourselves? Yeah. In all industries, there are people that make much, much more than us. Why? Are they a thousand times better? Not necessarily. Raise your hand if you're good at doing what you do. Yeah? I'm guessing if you're not good at doing it, you wouldn't be doing it yet. So let's kind of make the assumption you're all good at doing what we do. So if we're good at it, and we charge for a certain service, and we deliver a good service, why aren't we making that money? So why is someone like undercut you? Say again, sorry? So why is someone like undercut you? Undercut you, that's a good point. So sometimes there'll be somebody else that's cheaper. So is the person that's cheaper than you making more money than you? No. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Interesting. Now, what if we could kind of claim that space that we're in and say, you know what, this is what I'm good at. This is me. I am the authority in this area. Do you think people that have that kind of expert status, that positioning, they command more for their services, their time? Absolutely they do. Now, let's... This is a bit freaky, this thing over here. Have you got paper any thinner? Okay. Now, what happens is, so, Sean, I'm going to give you an example. So you're in which line of work? I'm CEO of Brightdead. CEO of Brightdead. So what's that mean? What do you do as an organisation? Um, oh. This is your advert time, by okay. the way. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're an innovative tech company that provides uh, the facility for private landlords to connect directly with tenants and manage the life cycle of their tenancy. Okay, so if you were to put that in a succinct three words, what would it be? We are cool. We are cool, I like that. I like that. Do you like that? That's good. You okay. Need us. <laughs> now, if you are the go to person in your industry, if you have the product, I'm sure you're not the only provider of a similar product. I know yours is quite unique, yeah. but there are other similar products in the marketplace. But if you're the go-to person, you're the person that everybody's talking about, you have the space that you claim authority on, do you think you'll succeed better than your competitors? Yes, certainly. Absolutely. So what's stopping us from claiming this space? What's stopping us from standing up and saying, I am the best at this, what we do? Thank you. Asked you what else? I think, I think it's credibility. I think people's credibility. Time. Yeah, you can say it, but you need you need credibility. Really. Yeah. Awareness. Credibility. Awareness. Repu okay. Reputation. Not that's Reputation. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Some of it can be the fear that we have of getting knocked back from other people. Yeah. What's somebody else going to say? So this is your world. Say again, sorry? Uh, center of my universe. Center of my universe. I am in the center of my universe. Yes. So this is your world. This is in your little head. Well, not so little son, but in, in your head. <laughs> <laughs> and you have this voice that's telling you, oh, no, kind of, I'm not sure, we can't do that. We kind of, who are you telling kind of, you know, the world that you're the best at this? Who's got that little voice? No. If you're thinking you haven't got a voice, that's the one that I'm talking about. <laughs> that you're referring to. The world outside. This you can control and affect in terms of what happens here. Here you have no control. So for example, can we influence who's going to become the president of the United States? No. Can we affect famine around the world? No. Can we control the economy? No. But we can, we can control our thoughts and reactions and how we feel about what happens. Right? So we're always afraid of what other people are going to say. But Tony Robbins has a great saying, what other people think about you is none of your business. That's their issue in their world. But when we're not afraid of what other people think, we can claim that space. So for, for our example, in property, I'm known as the property joint venture expert. What that means is I have a huge amount of kind of experience and knowledge on the subject. What I do is I put property deals together based on joint ventures. That's essentially what, what I'm doing. Let me let you into a little secret. Nobody came to my house, knocked on the door, and says, Mr. Hussain, We'd now proudly like to honour you as the official UK expert. <laughs> it doesn't happen. You have to claim that space. Yes, you need some credibility, but if you don't claim 
that you're good at what you do, what you do. Nobody else is going to do it for you. And when you create that positioning and you have a brand, that's what you stand for, that's what you're good at. Those are the people that command the most money in our industries.